Welcome to Game Face on FLSportsFan.com. Lots to talk about this week. Can a team that never got above 500 make it to the World Series? You're darn right they can. It's the Tampa Bay Rays. We'll talk about it today. In college, no offense, but the FSU Seminoles seem to have no offense. What's going on with Jimbo Fisher and the Seminoles? And Jaguars, Dolphins, and Bucks all victorious last week. Is there going to be a good season for pro teams in Florida? Talking about it with the sports addict, our good friend Gary Finout. Let's start with the Rays. Are they going to make it to the World Series, Gary? Probably not. Oh, come on. Can't you be a homer ever? No, I can be a homer. I just don't think a team without a lot of playoff experience, and, and plus the fact that they're kind of backdooring their way into the playoffs, has what it takes to make back, it to the back World Series. Backdoor this, Gary. The Marlins, first time they're in the playoffs, they win the World Series, all right? And then they did it again. So come on. There's precedent for this. I, I, you know, I, lo- I know them. I love them. I just I don't have a lot of confidence. I think that the fact that the Twins are coming on, I think the fact that the Red Sox have experience, I think there's a lot of things uh, for the Rays to fight against. I say the Rays are going all the way. We are FL Sports fan, Gary. Maybe you keep in mind who our audience is. All right, let's move on to the college football ranks where Florida State University, embarrassed at home, only able to kick a field goal in a conference game. I, it was pathetic. I, I can't believe what I saw on the field last Saturday night. And I just, I'm wondering where this goes from here. I, I don't know if this movie gets any better. I mean, Jimbo Fisher, the offensive coordinator, supposed to come in and revamp this offense. It has, a young team, though. It's a young team. It, it is a young team, but the point is... If, but they're all young teams. <laughs> right, but they lose against Wake Forest. Uh, Colorado comes in. They're really tough. And then we got Miami in the near future and Florida. It's, I just it, it, it's another rebuilding bad. year for the Seminoles. Probably will the fan base be patient and can Bobby make it yet another year with a mediocre season? All right, we're going to go right to the pro ranks. Bucks, Jaguars, Dolphins all win, but it's the Dolphins who probably were the team of the week with a surprising upset blowout in New England. Gary, you get the penalty flag of the week. You're dang skippy, Ron, because you didn't believe in Joey Forder. So there's a flag on you. How about because that? Because you technology. didn't want to believe that they could they could take it to the New England Patriots. I told you, Matt Castle wasn't Tom Brady, and the Dolphins backed it up with that hey, great Wildcat formation. My, my bad. I'm a Dolphins fan my whole life. Thank goodness they kept. As good as their word, the fans are excited. We're going to win at least two games this season. you dang skippy on that, Gary. By the way, right here on FLSportsFan.com, starting October 15th, you'll be able to qualify for an opportunity to win two tickets on the 50-yard line of the BCS championship game. Keep coming to FLSportsFan.com. You can enter once a day for your chance to win two free tickets on the 50-yard line. Any final word from the sports addict, Gary? Uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to enter, am I? No, you're not, and neither am I. That means you can win. We'll see you next time on Game Face right here on flsportsfan.com.